say about what is a closed interval and what is a open interval so what is a closed interval and what is a open interval so these are two kinds of intervals so suppose there is I'm taking the case of real numbers Z starting from minus infinity and going to infinity and there is a set which starts from element A and goes to element B now this set could be both open and it could be both closed based on whether I consider this end elements of the set A or B so suppose this is minus 2 and this is 2 in this case if I am considering both these minus 2 and 2 my set will become if I am calling it A it will become minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and if I am not including that then it will become minus 1 0 one so if I'm denoting this by minus two to two then this is what is called as a closed interval and it's possible to show it as minus 2 to 2 in this case is equal to x is belonging to the real numbers r and a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b and in other case when I'm Cons not considering that in this case I will show it by the square brackets and this is a closed interval and in the case when I'm writing it using a closed bracket instead of the square bracket this will become my open interval and my x will belong to r and a will be less than x will be less than b so this is how I differentiate between what is a closed interval and what is a open interval if I'm having a set where I am including one of this if I'm having a set C where I'm including minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and in this case I can say that this is a semi closed interval or semi open and this will be written by shown by a square bracket on one side and a closed bracket on the other side so this is how you can mathematically show what is a closed interval and what is a open interval and from the closed and the open interval you can come to what is a semi closed interval and what is a, a semi open interval